Good morning, grade nine. Um, today we are having capitalization. It's chapter 22. Actually, we did this uh, like a few pages and few exercises. The begin and the initial exercises we are done. But since um, uh, I want to be sure that you actually understood, so I'll give you a little preview of the part of the chapter that we took already. So we are having capitalization. And um, uh, for there are now several rules that we will see uh, that we will read about how do we capitalize in our uh, uh, capitalize our sentences and where do we what do we capitalize and where and when. So rule number one says that you have to capitalize the first uh, letter of capitalize the first word in declarative interrogative imperative and exclamatory sentences so you have to capitalize all the first words uh, whenever you start a sentence whether it's uh, any of the four kinds of the sentences that we have then we capitalize the first word in interjections and in and in complete questions like you can see in the examples it's o and then exclamatory mark exclamation mark and then wonderful with the with again exclamation and then the next one we have questions two questions so each time we capitalize the first word and rule number uh, 22.1.3 says that you have to always capitalize the pronoun i whenever it wherever and whenever it comes whenever i comes alone you have to capitalize it Next is you have to capitalize the the sentence that comes after the colon, except it is a list or a, or the continuation of the previous sentence. For example, in the first sentence, he repeated his com com comment breathlessly. Colon, he was unable to continue running. So since there are two different sentences, so we have capitalized H of he. But in second one. Since it is the list of equipment, so we have not capitalized it. Now, capitalize the first word in each line of traditional poetry. Whenever there is poetry, you have to capitalize the first word of every line of each line, no matter what, even if it is the continuation of the previous line. Now, when it comes to quotation, you have to capitalize the first let first word of the of the sentence that is un in the quotation in the inverted commas but if it is interrupted by like he, in the second example as you can see here as the ship came flowing through the water he said the crowd cheered since this whole sentence is interrupted by he said so when it is continued after he said you will not capitalize it and if you have to emphasize on something for example if there's a uh, there are inverted commas for emphasis uh, uh, to emphasize you will not capitalize again for example grant remarked that this was uh, since it is that this was so it is a, um, uh, an indirect speech so we will not capitalize the um the first word now these were the exercises that we did and they, they are the answers that I gave you. So you can please check them again if in case you haven't attended the class. Okay, so today we are having proper nouns 22.2. It's page 551. Now in proper nouns, whenever we have proper nouns, we always capitalize them. Now there are different ways. Okay, first, they said that capitalize all proper nouns. That now this is clear that we have we know we have to capitalize capitalize all proper nouns, and we even identify nouns as proper nouns by their capitalization. Like we know if a noun is a is a cap is a pronoun uh, sorry, is a proper noun or a common noun by the way it's written. Like if it is capitalized, it means that it's proper. So all the proper nouns will be capitalized. That's clear. Okay. Next is now there can be variations. Names. Each part of a person's name, the given name, the middle name, or initial. 
the given name, the middle name, or initial standing for that name, and the surname should be capitalized. If you have a name and you have a name, uh, uh, for example, consisting of three different nouns or four different nouns, you have to capitalize each of them. Each word, each noun that's coming in your proper noun, each name that's coming, that's the part of your proper noun will be capitalized. For example, Jean Brock. One name, but both are capitalized, both J and G. Now, R R Brig. So, all of the words are capitalized, even though they are the just just the abbreviation. In the same way, we have capitalized other names. Now, if the names are given to animals, even if they mean if they mean something common, for example, a traveler, flipper. Rin Tin Tin, they are just, uh, they can be common and um, like nicknames, but they will still be capitalized. Okay, so. So let's move on to the next page. Here is the next page and it says 552. Geographical and place names. Now we always capitalize the geographical and place names. For example, the names of streets, the names of towns and cities, the name of counties, states and provinces, the names of nations and continents, the names of mountains, the names of valleys and deserts. Islands and peninsulas, sections of a county, uh, sections of a country, scenic sports, rivers and falls, lakes and bays, seas and oceans, celestial bodies and constellations like Mars, the Big Dipper, the Venus, except sun and moon. And we also capitalize monuments and memories like the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Kennedy Memorial Libra Library, so all the monuments of the past have present and all buildings names of buildings and schools and meeting rooms for example room six laboratory 3b okay the red room the conference room etc so let's uh, go through the examples we can just read a few of the examples to understand how they have they capitalized each pronoun sorry each proper noun uh, street, for example, Madison Avenue Street, First Street, Green Valley Road, whatever the name is, you always capitalize all along with the street and avenue and road. Okay, when road is the part of the name of the street, you capitalize the R. And if street is the part of the name of the street, you capitalize the R, uh, the S, except if you are using street alone, like I live in the far street. I'm not here using any 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 names for the street, so I will not capitalize it. Towns and cities like Dallas, like New York City. Now, uh, notice in New York City they have capitalized each word. Okay, each name is capitalized. New and York and then city too. Champion counties. Now these are counties and nations and countries like Kenya, America, Mexico, Europe, Austria. Mountains uh, like Adirondack Mountains, Mount Washington, Mount Everest. All these names of mountains would be capitalized. Valleys and Desert, the San Fernando, uh, Mojave Desert, Desert, Gobi Desert, all the names of the names. Then islands, Aruba Island, Faroe Island, Cape York Peninsula. Sections of a country like Northeast, like Northeast or Siberia, the Great Plains, scenic sports like Gateway National Park. Just one minute. <clears throat>
Okay, so and the rest, as you can see, the celestial bodies is the capital of the Mars, the Venus, the Earth, whenever we write Earth, and so forth. We will write the names of the buildings in, cap in capital words, and that's it. That was about the geographical and place names. Now let's move on to capitalizing directions. When do we capitalize directions and when we don't? We capitalize directions if they're coming alone, like for example, I live in the south. But if it is the part of a phrase like east, the south of the city, then we do not capitalize. Or east of the city, then we do not capitalize. Okay. But if it is used alone as a part to refer uh, to refer to a section of a country, then we use south. We do not capitalize moon and sun, as you know. And in the, in the last part, as you can see here, capitalize the name of specific events and periods in history. So all the events and periods in history will be capitalized. For example, the Battle of Waterloo, World War I, and uh, the days and months like Monday, all the days will be capitalized. Holidays are always capitalized. Special events are capitalized like uh, Thanks for Giving Day, like uh, Eid, like Ramadan. Uh, documents like the Bill of Rights, the Magna Carta, and days of and months also. Then we have capitalizing seasons. We capitalize, do not capitalize seasons unless the name of the season is being used as a proper noun or adjective. So if the name is not used as, in, uh, as a proper noun or adjective, you will not capitalize the season itself if it's coming alone. For example, my cousin spent their summer vacation in Florida. The autumn harvest dance is next week. Now autumn harvest dance is a title, is a name for something. Is the name of an event. So only in that case we will capitalize the autumn, the A of autumn. And now there are other uh, other areas, other groups that we capitalize. For example, clubs and organizations, institutions, schools, business, government bodies, political parties, nationalities, languages. We capitalize languages whenever we write them. Religions and religious references, for example, all the religious, religious and religious references will be capitalized. All right. You can see the examples. Now, next is the references to myth mythological gods. Now, the mythological gods are the gods that do not, uh, that are part of Greek literature or Hinduism. So when referring to mythology, do not capitalize the word god, the gods of Olympus, okay? For example, capitalize the names of awards, the names of specific types of air, sea, and spacecraft, and brand names. So you have to capitalize the names of the award, the, the types of air, the sea, spacecraft, and of course the sea, for example, the uh, Atlantic Ocean, the Red Sea, you will capitalize red of uh, R of red and S of sea, if it is coming as Red Sea. If it's coming alone, you will not capitalize. Okay, so here is exercise 22.2a and 22.2b. I will give you the answers. Please uh, check them when you have solved them. This is for page 555. Okay. I will repeat. So this is for page 555. So please remember. Okay, 22.2a and 22.2b. Okay, next is using capitals for proper adjectives. Now we have some proper adjectives, okay? Proper adjectives. 
like Australian kangaroo, like, like Afghan hound, like Italian food, like Spanish armada, like Shakespearean place. So when we have a noun that is described by a proper, uh, proper noun, we all we are uh, we name them as proper adjective and we always capitalize them Some proper adjectives have become so commonly used that they are no longer capitalized, like Herculean effort, like pasteurized milk, like Venetian blinds, like French fries, like teddy bear. Brand names will always be capitalized if they are used to describe something. For example, Timo watches. We are not capitalizing uh, W. We only capitalize Timo because it is the name of the watch. It is the name of the brand, sorry. Okay, so for example, long lasting refrigerator. Refrigerator will not be capitalized, but only the name of the brand will be capitalized, like long lasting. Also, do not capitalize a common noun modified by two or more proper adjectives. So if there are two or more proper adjectives, then there is a noun coming after it. Do not capitalize it. For example, Ohio and Mississippi River. It is mainly with compound nouns. Sorry, a compound uh, noun that are used as adjective to describe another noun, a third noun. For example, look over here. Mississippi River is capitalized, R is capitalized, but, but Ohio and Mississippi rivers. Now in this one, we have compound, uh, sorry, compound uh, uh, proper nouns to describe the third noun, or you can say compound proper adjective, so we will not uh, capitalize the noun, the common noun that's coming up. We will not capitalize R of river. In the same way, Washington Street alone is capitalized. But Washington, Madison, Madison, and Lincoln Street, we are talking about three different streets, and we are using streets, uh, streets one time, with uh, all the three, Washington, Madison, and Lincoln, all these names, so we will not capitalize it. In the same way, you can see the letter of uh, letter for, uh, examples of the uh, of of this rule. Now, prefixes and hyphenated adjectives. Do not capitalize prefixes attached to proper adjectives unless the prefix refers to a nationality. In a hyphenated adjective. Capitalize only the proper adjective. So when you have hyphenated adjectives, do not capitalize if it is not proper. Capitalize only if it is proper. And do not capitalize the other part which is not proper. For example, all American. American is a proper uh, adjective. So we capitalize American. Anglo American, now both of them, Anglo American are both of them are proper adjectives. So we have uh, um, capitalized both are proper nouns and American is proper adjective. Pro English, we will not capitalize P of pro, only E of English because it is the proper adjective. And in the same way, we will, we have seen other examples here. Okay, so we will not capitalize P, pro, all, but if they both are adjective proper, proper, uh, proper adjective, then we will definitely capitalize them. For example, American Korean language. Language is not capitalized. Newspaper is not capitalized, but American Korean is capitalized. So here are the exercises 22.2C and 22.2D. I'll give you the answers. That's page 558. Other uses of capitals. Now using capitals in letters, when you have salutations and closing, you always capitalize. In the salutations, you capitalize each word, but in the closing, you have to capitalize the first word, like with love, yours truly, sincerely yours, best regards. You always capitalize the first one, but not the second word. But in salutation, you capitalize each word of your sal salutation. For example, my dear cousin, dear Mr. Leavitt, dear sirs, 
So you always capitalize, as you can see here. Next, capitalize a person's title only when it is used with the person's name. For example, uh, or when it is used as a proper name by itself. If you're using the title like uncle, uh, like aunt, if you're using these titles alone, do not capitalize them. But if you call that person by that name and it has become like um, a name itself, then you capitalize. Other than that, you only capitalize when it comes along with the name. Now, for example, check with a proper name. For example, Governor Wilson. If there is Governor alone, we will not capitalize Governor. But since there is Wilson with it, so we have capitalized Governor Governor Wilson. I'm glad you can join join us, Grandma. Now, since Grandma is coming alone, there he is addressing Grandma with this name or calling her with this name, with just Grandma. He calls her Grandma. Uh, he, he doesn't say Grandma Suzanne, so it is the proper, it will be capitalized in there. In a general reference, now this is general reference, we don't know which senator. The senator followed the progress, we, we don't know which senator he's talking about because they have senator alone, so we will not capitalize. You can see some of more, some of more examples down here in the, in the column. Social, business, religious, military and government titles. So there are titles not only for the people uh, for relationships. We there are titles for uh, for um, for uh, for military, for government, for business and social. For example, Mr. Mrs. Miss Doctor, Honorable, PhD, MD, Junior, Sir, etc. Sir, Madam, Miss, Professor, Bishop. So there's abbrevi abbreviated titles and they are used to commonly used titles. You have to capitalize all of them, no matter what, if they, are, if they are abbreviated or if not. Then compound titles like Vice President, Secretary of State, Lieutenant Gen Governor, Commander in Chief. These are titles, okay? So we always capitalize titles. Then titles with prefixes or suffixes, for example, X congression. You do not capitalize X, but you do capitalize the rest of the title. Uh, I think we have taken it already, so you know, uh, you understand it now. Yeah, just one more thing in the last, in the last one, in the last line of the sentence of the page. You would see my aunt, her father, and Jeff's mother. If m the titles are coming with the possessive pronoun or noun, then you would, you would not capitalize it, even if it's coming alone. Then you capitalize the titles of books and periodicals and poems and stories and plays and music and paintings and music. And of course, movies. Now, when it comes to the subjects, you capitalize only the courses. Okay, if there if this is an, if there is a a name of a certain course course, for example, math four, for example, economics three one three with the number coming with the number, then you will capitalize. Other than that, you only capitalize the languages, the language subject. For example, French, Arabic, English, Urdu. Okay, you capitalize the, the, the languages used as subjects, but you will not capitalize other subjects like biology, like chemistry, like math, like history. You do not capitalize it, capitalize them. Here is page 564 and practice 22.3a, practice 22.3b. And these are the answers. Please check them when you are done solving them. And thank you very much for coming.